Hi dearest, how are you all doing? Welcome to my channel once more. So today, I'm going to be showing you how I made this a lovely double base crinoline fascinator. Now, I got the inspiration to make this because I had a client who needed um, crinoline fascinator and she wanted it bigger than the regular I thought and this is what came out. So I hope you like it and do let me know in the comment section below what you think about this design. Here are the items we'll be needing. You'll be needing your um, patches to cover the back of the fascinator. You'll be needing your needle and thread. Remember your thread should match your material, your uhu gum, your crinoline. This is the seven inch width crinoline. Then you'll be needing your feathers. These feathers I made from the fan feathers. You can check the link below to see how I made them. I'll drop down because I've put up the video. Then you'll be needing your scissors, measurement tape, clip, and also some stones. So the first thing you want to do is take your seven inch width crinoline and I'm going to be cutting out 30 inches. Now this 30 inches, you need it in two places because you're going to be making this part twice. Keep watching and learning. Once you're done cutting, you fold your crinoline into two and take out the thread from the tip. Remember your crinoline has thread at one side, so you're going to be drawing out the thread from it like so. Then you hold the two together and pull it and give your crinoline a squeeze to the other direction. And this is how it will appear. Once you do that, just hold that part firmly and then you pleat those edges that you have cut. You're going to, can you see how I'm pleating it? The main thing is to gather them together as closely as possible like so. Once you're done with that, then you take those thread that you pulled out, tighten it further. Once you're done with that, then you start knotting it as firmly as you can so it doesn't get loosened. Then you cut the, the extra. Be very careful when you cut the extra. Now to ensure it doesn't loosen at all again, you're going to take your needle and thread and sew it firmly together again after you've chopped off a little extra from it. you turn it around like so and I'm sure you remember seeing this on some bright made people hair that's how to make this base but now we're making the flat base and this is what you do so I'm gonna be holding it in the middle like so and taking this edge and then pleating it squeezing it and folding it like so can you see what I'm doing just taking the edges and doing like a pleat and taking it to the middle part then I sew it so that's what I'm going to do all the way around keep watching and learning heard it means you haven't been on my channel but I won't scold you for that but today is the last day of our promo in the Venn Crafts Academy we're actually giving half prizes for all our classes and the classes range from fascinator to turbans to hand fan to brooches oh they are a, a lot and also if you want to get to know how to manipulate crinoline like what I'm doing here to make hats and fascinators and various other things you can use them for. You want to join our Crinoline Masters class and today is the last day for half price. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. You can check um, the description and join the Ventcraft Academy reception and then you can make your request to see all the classes and take your pick and make payment. It ends today, the 3rd of July, 2023. <music>
it's your back so I'm going to put both on their backs and I'm going to take the put them at the edges like this can you see I'm joining their two edges the part where they have their curve and I'm going to use my needle and thread and sew it lightly just twice ensuring that when I'm taking it from the front part I'm taking it close to the other thread so it's not too visible okay I'm done with that I'm going to be taking my seven inch with crinoline and I'm going to be measuring out one and a half yard that's 36 inches plus 18 inches that is um, 54 inches <laughs> take out that thread that I used to make the base I don't need it in this design so I'm pulling it out it's very easy just drag it out and squeeze your crinoline as you're doing so now I'm going to be sewing the two edges keep watching and learning value so far from this video please do give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed now is a great time click that subscribe button so you get to see all those wonderful creations of mine that will help empower you to create world okay so now i'm going to be forming my bow different bowls that's where i'm forming it but i will just leave you to watch and see how i'm doing the folds i think in this particular instance the best is to watch follow and learn so keep watching and learning so you can shop from them also I leave a link there that you could go and request from me I have some people who do supply and they could attend to you and if you want me to be your personal shopper I could also shop for you the items that you require and send them to you
hoops bows and all those things don't know what to call it looks like plenty loops and hoops and <laughs> bows joined together the next thing i did was to take the double based um crinoline that i've made the double base crinoline fascinator the fascinator double base crinoline <laughs> okay anyway i took those double base and i set this in the middle of that um base that i've made and you will take note of how I started sewing it. Please take note. Watch. Let. Thank you. sewing that I did at the edges but just the one at the um, complete edge was the one that showed the other ones the rows kind of like covered it so I'm going to be placing it on top and beneath so no thread is going to be seen <laughs> Here's another design for you to check out how to make. Do take care. Bye.